happy Sunday, YouTube family. So I'm doing another scripture Sunday. And I'm doing this on two verses that had been my favorite scriptures for years and years and years. And then I kind of switched it to the verse in Ephesians that I mentioned when I the first video I did on this series. So I'm going to the book of Colossians. And this is a letter written by Paul. Um, so you can see that this is written to the Colossians and Paul was writing to the church at Laodicea. So, and you can tell it's written by Paul because it starts out Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God and Timothy, our brother, and then to the saints and so forth, grace and peace be to you. And that's how Paul starts up most, almost all his letters. So you can um, recognize that it's his writings. But in chapter three, it starts out talking about um, living as Christ. Um, so it's basically telling us how to live as Christians. So um, let's just get some context going here. Uh, if you were then raised with Christ, seek those things which are above where Christ is sitting on the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. So um, let me see what else I want to highlight. So basically he's telling us to put to death all the stuff that we used to do and that we do not do now that we are followers of Christ. So therefore put to death your members which are on earth, fornication, uncleanliness, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is adultery. Because of these things, the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience in which you once were. Well, I kind of summarized that. But now you yourselves are to put off all these things. And here's another list. Anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy language out of your mouth. Do not lie to one another, since you have put off the old man with his deeds. And you have put on the new man, who is renewed in knowledge according to the image of him who created him. And then whether it's Jew or Greek and so forth. And then we're getting close to my favorite verse here. Um, Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on, and this is what we're supposed to put on. Get rid of all the old stuff that we used to do and put on this. Put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering, long-suffering, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you must also forgive. I kind of rephrase it. Some of these verses I have memorized in a different translation, so sometimes that just kind of comes out. But above all these things, put on love, which is the bond of perfection. And that's I think, is key right there, the love. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also you were called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ draw, draw, dwell excuse me, in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And here is the verse. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. And then it talks about, here it's talking about relationships, wives and husbands, children and parents, and um, slaves and masters, because at the time there were slaves. And then jumping down to verse 23, and whatever you do, do it hardly as to the Lord and not to men. So I like these two verses, 17, whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. And then whatever you do, do it all hardly as to the Lord and not to men. And sometimes if we think about what we're doing, who we're working for, um, and so forth, especially if it seems unpleasant, if you have a job you don't like or something like that, if we can put it into context and think, we're doing this for God, and we're here to serve others, to love others, and to work for God. And whatever we do, if we do it as we're working for God, 
then we should put our best forward and we'll do a good job at it, a great job at it. And so these verses um, kind of help me make sure that I'm doing the best job that I can do. And not that I'm perfect at it. Oh my goodness, I am not perfect at it. And that's why these verses are here to remind me. So Scripture Sunday, Colossians 3, 17 and Colossians 3, 23. So I hope you all had a good weekend and just wanted to share that verse and I will post another one next Sunday. Thanks for watching. Y'all be blessed.